Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Tuesday, April the 17th. It's year two, it's week two in Easter, and it's week one in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 5 and 6, and John chapter 14, verse 18 to 31. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, to my words give ear, O God Most High. Give heed to my groaning. Alleluia. Psalms 5 and 6. To my words give ear, O God Most High. Give heed to my groaning. Attend to the sound of my cries, my Sovereign and my God. It is you whom I invoke. In the morning you hear me. In the morning I offer you my prayer, watching and waiting. You are no God that loves evil. No sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. You hate all who do evil. You destroy all who lie. Deceitful and bloodthirsty people are hateful to you. But I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house I bow down before your holy temple filled with awe. Lead me, O God, in your justice because of those who lie in wait. Make clear your way before me. No truth can be found in their mouths. Their heart is all mischief, their throat a wide open grave, all honey their speech. Declare them guilty, O God, and let them fail in their designs. Drive them out for their many offenses, for they have defied you. All those you protect shall be glad and ring out your joy. You shelter them, in you they rejoice, those who love your name. It is you who bless the upright, you surround them with favor as with a shield. My God, do not reprove me in your anger, and punish me not in your rage. Have mercy on me, I have no strength. Heal me, for my body is racked, my soul is racked with pain. And you, beloved God, how long? Return and rescue me. Save me in your merciful love, for in death no one remembers you. From the grave, who can give you praise? I am exhausted with my groaning. Every night I drench my pillow with tears. I soak my bed with weeping and my eyes waste away with grief. I have grown old, surrounded by my foes. Leave me, all you who do evil, for God has heard my weeping. God has heard my plea, and God will accept my prayer. My foes will retire in confusion, foiled and suddenly confounded. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. To my words give ear, O God Most High. Give heed to my groaning. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to John. Begin, uh, chapter 14, beginning at verse 18. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live, and you also live. On that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. And Judas said to him, Lord, how is it that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? And Jesus answered him, Those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them. And we will come to them and make our home with them. And whoever does not love me does not keep my words. And the word that you hear is not mine, but is from the Father who sent me. I've said these things to you while I am still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you.
peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give it to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us be on our way. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for the peace from above and for the loving kindness of God and for the salvation of our souls. For peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for the welfare of the church and for the unity of all. For Tom and Alan and Richard and Ray and Don, for all of our church leaders and for all clergy and people. For Barack, our president, and for the leaders of the nations, and for all in authority. For the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie and Ronald Francis. For the widowed and the orphaned, for the sick and the suffering, and for a cure for cancer. For the poor and the oppressed, for the unemployed, especially Bill and Robert and Carrie and Brian. And for the destitute, for prisoners and captives, especially Christians and for all who remember and care for them. For all who've died in the hope of the resurrection, especially Chuck, and for all of the departed. For the absolution and the remission of our sins and offenses, and that we may end our lives in faith and hope without suffering and without reproach. In the communion of St. Francis and St. Clair and all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all of our lives to Christ our God that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. And for the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, for the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush toward Christ, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God, the author of peace and the lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>